Hi, I'm Katherine Mitchell, Director of Education at the Grace Museum. Welcome to our classroom here at the Grace. We are going to be going through a series of videos of giving you some lessons with materials that we think that you might have at home. So stick with us, we're going to learn a lot. Today we're going to be doing a lesson we call the Matisse Bigger Burger and this is a great sample for you to look at. Today's lesson uh, will focus on a few of the elements of art. So I love to show you this poster. There's a lot of information on this one poster. So these are the elements of art right here. So line, shape, color, value, form, texture, and space. Today's lesson will actually cover several of these. We could say that this lesson includes some with line. Uh, we will talk a little bit about shapes. We will talk about color. Um, and then we'll definitely talk about texture. So I think you're gonna have a lot of fun and we're gonna learn a lot about these elements. For today's lesson, there are a few materials that you'll need at your house, but there's lots of things you can substitute for it as well. So, as you're looking at this sample, you will need some colored pieces of paper, just whatever you can find. And if you don't have any colored paper at your house, you can always use your markers and crayons on white paper and color it yourself. We're also going to need a pencil, you're going to need a pair of scissors, and you're gonna need some kind of glue. It really doesn't matter the kind that you use. You can use school glue, you can use a glue stick. Now, something kind of extra for this project that we like to use is a piece of cardboard. So this I just cut straight off of a box that we had here at the museum. And we'll use a little bit of this cardboard in our project as well. Uh, the last thing that you might want to have is a set of markers. Again, it doesn't matter the brand, um, but you can use markers to highlight some of the areas of our burger that we're gonna be creating today. The lesson that we're learning about today, um, we're getting inspired from an artist named Henry Matisse. So here is a book that I wanted to suggest to you. You might not be able to go to your library right now, but this is one you might really enjoy at another time, or maybe you already have it at home. But it's called When Pig Also Meets Matisse, and it's all about the relationship between two artists, Picasso and Matisse. And at the back of this book, let me open it up and show you. There's some really great, just enough information about both artists. So it tells you a little bit of history about both of these artists, when they lived, and about their artwork. Now, Matisse was born on the very last day of the year in 1869, December 31st. Now this is how you spell his name, right here. Henry Matisse. You might think he spells Henry in kind of an interesting way, and that's because he was French. So that's how he would have spelled his name. Now, Henry Matisse is known as one of the leaders in modern art. That's the style of art that he used. And later in his career, he started experimenting with cutting paper into all different shapes and sizes and putting them together into his art pieces. And that's what is gonna inspire us today, using cut paper to make something really interesting. Okay, so this project, I'm actually gonna put all, glue everything that I make onto this black piece of paper, but I don't necessarily have to start with it. So I'm gonna put it off to the side and I'm gonna look at my other colors of paper. So I need to think about what I want on my burger. So we're actually making a hamburger out of all of these papers. You don't have to make a hamburger that you would eat. You can add extra supplies, extra foods onto your burger but we need to think about the basics. So um, I'm gonna put some meat on my burger, so I might start with my brown. So what I'm gonna do is just take my pencil and I'm gonna do a really simple meat patty shape. So it's just gonna kinda look like this. Now, if you don't have cardboard, you can create your hamburger bun out of this brown paper as well. Um, let me switch over. I'm going to use this marker just so you can see it really well. So here is my meat patty. Here is my hamburger bun. And I'll need the bottom of the bun, won't I? So let's draw that here. Okay, now one thing that's really great about using uh, papers 
is that you're going to cut it out so you don't have to worry about mistakes. So this kind of art is called a collage. So let's say I wanna change the way I make this. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna have to use more of my paper because watch, when I cut it out, even though I have extra marker lines, of course you'll be using your pencil, I don't have to worry about it because once it's cut out, I can always flip it over and use the back. So that's what we'll see. So I'm not gonna worry about my lines uh, too much. So I just need to think. Now we could maybe add bacon to our burger. How could we draw that? You guys could come up with really creative ways of making all of your ingredients uh, for this collage today. So I just did a squiggly line for bacon. And then I have to remember, I have to cut it all out. So I'm gonna set this aside and cut it out here in just a minute. Okay, I've got some more paper. So let's see, I like ketchup on my burger. So I might do my ketchup next. Now there's a couple ways we could do this. We could cut out a big blobby section like that. Now I drew it with my pencil because that's what I want you guys to do. But just so you can see it a little better, let me trace over it with my marker. Okay, you could do a big section of uh, ketchup or maybe you could draw ketchup that looks like it's dripping over your burger. So let's see, I'm gonna have it be flat on top and then draw big drippy bits of ketchup. It's dripping down like that. Okay, then I'll cut that out here in just a minute. But is there anything else we can think of that you might want to be in your red? Hmm, maybe tomatoes. Okay, so take your pencil. How would you draw a tomato? I'm gonna draw it where it looks like it's sliced and I'm looking at a slice. So I'm gonna draw a circle. Now circles are hard to draw, but if you're using your pencil, it makes it really easy if you make mistakes. Now I'm not gonna draw any details of my tomato yet because I'm gonna remember, cut it out and use the other side. So I'm just gonna leave it with circles, but I might do a few of them. So I'm gonna have three big tomatoes. Ooh, that one got really big, but that's fine. Remember, if I need to change it, I'm not gonna worry about it because uh, I'll cut it all out, so I won't cut on that line. All right, I have some things made out of my red. Let's see what other colors I have. Um, I might switch to my green. Okay, hmm, green. Let's see, maybe I could make some pickles. I could do round pickles like I did with my tomatoes. I could do long slices of pickles. So I might do long slices. That would be a kind of a fun shape that we can add. So now we'll have a variety of shapes. We have this kind of drippy shape. We have the shape of the hamburger. And now we'll have kind of this long shape of our pickles. Now I can't think of anything else off the top of my head that I could do with the green, but you might think of something and you can add it to that, like lettuce or something like that. Okay, so let me go ahead and draw a fun piece of lettuce. So I'm just gonna do a wild shape like that. Look at that crazy shape of lettuce. That's a lot of fun. Okay, let's see. I've got three colors left. Well, out of my white, I think I could do either mushrooms or onions. And I might even can do those little tiny seeds that you see on top of your bun. So let's see, how would I draw a mushroom? You know, I might even have to draw it with my pencil first. I'm gonna draw the cap of the mushroom and then I'll come down to the end. Oh, that kind of looks like a mushroom, doesn't it? So just have fun with it. We're not worried about it being perfect. We just want it to be fun. Okay, so here are my mushrooms. And then when you are ready for your onion, there's a really fun thing you can do. If you'll first cut out a circle, then you can make a spirally onion like this. So I'm gonna cut my circle out really quickly. Now I'm not doing this super carefully because I'm trying to go fast, but you can take your time and go really carefully. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut into my onion until I get to the center in a swirly line. So here we go. You can see I'm gonna turn my onion as I'm cutting and I'll keep turning and turning until I get to the center. And this will create a fun texture. So it means something will kind of stick out from my piece of art. So here, let me put it over another piece of paper. You can see I have this kind of fun 
zigzaggy onion. So you could make several onions that way. And then you could cut out your mushrooms. Okay, two more colors of paper that I have. Hmm, I guess I could cut some cheese out of the orange. That would be a fun color to use. I'm going to come all the way to the edge. One thing I like to do when I'm using a big piece of paper, if I know I'm just going to cut one thing out, I'll come all the way to the corner so then I have all of this paper to use for another project. So instead of cutting it out of the center, I'm just going to cut a shape like this. So when I'll cut out all of my rest of my things in a minute, you can see here's that simple shape that I can have for a slice of cheese. Okay, we've got to keep thinking. You might think of chipotle sauce uh, or something else you could maybe make out of that orange. I know you guys are super creative and have super smart brains. Um, I'm going to make, let's see, maybe some mustard to drip down like my ketchup. So I could do it like either way that I did my ketchup. I'm just going to do some drippy mustard. Um, and then I'll cut that out and I'll be all ready to start putting things together. Okay, so I cut out all of my pieces. I've got a bunch of pieces over here. And I'm gonna remember, I'm gonna be using the back sides of them, the side that doesn't have um, my marker uh, on it, or it would be your pencil mark. But before I start putting it together on my back piece of paper, I'm actually gonna grab my um, extra piece of cardboard. Now at this point, you might need a little help from your mom and dad, because cardboard can be hard to cut into. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be making um, a little bit more texture, so you can see how this would have these bumpy feel to it. Um, so I'm gonna make the bun, um, and then you could even make like a slice of bacon or something like that if you wanted to um, on your burger. Uh, you could even do, if you like turkey burgers, you could make it a piece of turkey. Um, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did uh, with my paper, but on my cardboard. So here I'm actually gonna draw uh, the bun to my bread, and uh, I think I might just leave it with that. So again, you might want to use your uh, pencil for this part. I just want to make sure you can see it really well on the video. So I'm going to do two simple shapes. So here we've got the shape for the top of the bun and the shape for the bottom of the bun. So this part is a little bit harder. You might get a li somebody uh, a little bit bigger to help you cut it out. Okay, so now I've cut out the bun of my cardboard. So I'll remove the rest of that cardboard and get it out of my way. So this part is really fun. So between your pieces of cardboard, there's these little grooves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my fingernails down in here and start tearing back the paper. So I can tear off that top edge. I can get in there, see how much more I can tear. I might leave some of the paper on there, but look, you start seeing this corrugated part of the cardboard. It just kind of gives it a fun texture and a fun little something added to your project. So if you don't have cardboard, remember you can still do this project um, just by using some brown paper or colored pap uh, paper that you have colored brown. So I'm gonna keep tearing a little bit. So I'm not gonna tear all of it off. I'm just gonna, I kind of took most of it off. Let me get my paper out of the way. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the bottom of the bun. So I'm just gonna reach in there, pull. Oh, that a lot of that one's coming off. So I might tear it off and get a little bit more on this side and leave just a tiny bit of the brown. So this creates a texture. It creates something bumpy and something that sticks out a little bit above my paper. So it's just kind of a nice bonus. Now that I have all of my supplies, I'm gonna start putting it together on my piece of paper. I've chosen a black piece of paper. Now, if you want to use a different color, you might have a favorite color. You might use pink or purple, it might be blue. Um, I'm just gonna have it kind of stand out on a black. 
Now, this form of art is called a collage. A collage is really any time you're gluing multiple items together. So since I'm gluing paper and cardboard onto another piece of paper, uh, it's a collage. So one of the greatest things about collage is that you can uh, move things once you've placed them there. So if I was doing a painting, once my paint is put down, uh, I can't necessarily move it. I could paint over it, I could paint around it or add to it, but this way you just get to move and put stuff right on top. So let's see, so I could decide if I wanted my bacon and my mushroom there. If I didn't like it, I could just move it around and put it somewhere else. I might decide to put a tomato there. So now, this is the time I want you to just experiment. So experiment with where you want these pieces of your burger. But I'm gonna try to fill up my whole piece of paper. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, usually the meat is on the bread. You might wanna try to make it make more sense, but it's okay that it doesn't, it doesn't look exactly like a real burger you're gonna eat because this is just fun and you're using your imagination. So let's see, I might pick up that mustard and put a pickle there, put my mushrooms on there, and look how I'm making all my pencil marks go on the bottom where I can't see them. Now one thing that I'm working on here is something called balance. Balance is when you spread out, um, in this case, one color. So you see, if I put all of my mushrooms right here together, it looks like there's just maybe a little bit too much white on this side. So when I spread it out, I'm balancing my artwork. I'm making the color spread all over. Now I have some more white, so I'm gonna add my onion, my swirly, curly Q onion, maybe right there. So let's see, I still have another tomato if I decide I wanna add it or not. I might do something like that. Now at this point, you might think, mm, I wish I had one more piece of cheese. So it's a good place to stop, look at what you have, and see if there's anything you wanna add or change. Now is the time for us to glue our pieces down. Once you like the way that your artwork looks. Now remember, this is your piece. It doesn't have to look anything like mine because you're the artist. So I'm gonna take my glue. I'm gonna go ahead and use glue stick. I happen to have the purple kind, um, but it doesn't matter which kind you use. Now this part is a little tricky because you just put everything down in the way you want it. So you might not want to mess it up, but um, just do the best you can. So I'm gonna put some glue stick on each of my pieces and glue them down. Now one thing I might think about is, I have this cool texture, this bumpy texture here. I might want, I'm gonna have to put my onion over here, some of my ingredients, all of my papers and shapes, to go over some of those pieces of texture. So you might be looking at it and think, what could I do that would just make it really interesting? Maybe that piece of pickle is gonna go slightly over that bun. And then I'm gonna get my ketchup and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm glue, putting the glue on the side that has the pencil mark and then gluing it down where there's no marks at all. Now you might also be thinking about the fact that I haven't used my markers yet. So I'm gonna wait and use my marker in just a minute to um, add some extra little details. So right now I'm just filling in my paper as good as I can after I've made my design and how I want things laid out. As you see, I'm almost finished. And in fact, I actually made a little mistake, but everybody makes mistakes. I started to glue my mustard down on the wrong side, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I turned it over uh, and I'm gonna make it work. All right, now I'm gonna add my onion, 
make sure it looks real bouncy. And now I've got the basics of my project all down. I'm gonna press down on all the pieces, make sure they're good and stuck. Um, and now I'm gonna do my final detail. First, I'm gonna close up my glue. That's always a good idea. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my markers. Again, you can use any kind of markers, and if you don't have any markers at home, uh, you can also use crayons. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the same color of uh, the food item with the marker. So on my tomato, I'm actually going to use red to draw my seeds, like that, um, on all of my tomatoes. This just helps make it not um, lose some of the fun and the whimsy of the colors. We've got a lot of colors here. Sometimes you can overdo with your marker. It means you work so hard on something, uh, you don't wanna put too much. So I tend to kind of avoid the black marker on this one. I'm just gonna add some little seeds for my pickles. So have fun with this too. Use your markers or your crayons add some kind of fun details. Let's see, not everything is gonna need a detail. Um, I might actually just stop right there with those seeds. Another option I have seen is um, if you wanna trace maybe the outside edges of your onion with a little bit of purple, if you wanna add some more color into it, um, you could maybe put some brown around your mushrooms. Um, so have, have a good time with that. Now, the last little detail I like to do on the top takes me back to my white paper. So I'm gonna take a piece of my white paper and I'm gonna cut some little tiny pieces. Now these are sometimes hard to glue. Now what I'm gonna do with these pieces, and I'm, I'm gonna make little triangles, is I'm going to end up making them seeds on top of the bun of my burger. So it takes me just a second to cut a few seeds. I think that's probably enough. I'll get my glue stick out again. Now, since this is a collage, the best thing to do is that you can move things around, see how you want it to look before you glue it down. Let's see, I think it's gonna look something like that, put over on top of all this texture. Okay, so as I'm doing that, we now, we can see we have lines in this project. We have texture and shape and color all of these things together create a wonderful and interesting work of art. Oh, these pieces are so small. It's hard to make them not stick to my fingers. So sometimes that takes a little work. If you need some help from your grown up, I might need a help from a kid to get all of my little pieces to stick. So I might not need to make it all in a line, I think I've got enough glue on my fingers. Get that piece down. Let's see, I don't think I stuck that one. All right, I'm gonna do that one. And then one last piece over here. Okay, so now we have completed our fun Matisse Bigger Burger. Thanks so much for coming to the Grace Museum today. Uh, continue watching and you'll be able to see a lot more programs um, on this site right here.